So welcome to my top 10 tips and tricks uh, for the default file manager under Plasma Dolphin. And I want to start off with tip number one, which is split view. Dolphin has a very nice and interesting way to split the view in two parts. And I can, can go into different folders. I can connect to an external USB pen drive or something like this and copy over files and folders if I'd like to. Uh, very easily here, as you can see, it's a very handy feature if you work with lots and lots of files and went, want to simply copy files over. Despite this being a very good feature, I think there's another good feature then because Dolphin also offers tab support. So as you can see here on the top, I have a different tab open and if I want to, I can just simply open up this titles here with a middle click as a different tab. As you can see here, it opened up here in the background as a tab. So I can navigate here just like in a browser. I can middle click to close tabs. I can middle click to open tabs on files and folders and I can switch tabs pretty easily. With tip number three, I have the option to invert a selection. It's very handy. If I record lots and lots of photos and uh, also videos in between and then copy over them from my camera to my hard drive, they end up mixed together. But usually it is like I have plenty of photos that I want to share with my friends and family and I have only a few video files. And as you know, those cameras tend to use cryptic file names to just simply name those files. So what I want to do is just simply mark all my video files and then, in this case I have an image file here, and then press Control, Shift and A, which will invert my selection and only select all the photos that I want to share. And this also goes, of course, is an option in uh, control. You can see here invert selection, but I like to work with keyboard shortcuts as it is quite quicker to work with. Then if I have all my photos selected, what I can do is simply upload them to my next cloud by or imager by right clicking and go to share. And here I have plenty of options, just like for example, send via, oops, send via email, send via telegram, even if I have some telegram contacts. Uh, next cloud, uh, send to a device. I can send it to a KDE Connect device or even send it via Bluetooth. Uh, when it comes to lots and lots of photos, maybe not a good idea, but in general, uh, it's nice to have if you only want to send one or two files over to your Bluetooth device. And I can upload it to Imager or even Twitter if I'd like to do so. With tip number four, no, tip number five, <laughs> I can filter out documents. So if I go to my downloads folder, I have many, many different clutters here, stuff that I downloaded. But what if I only want to see my ISO images that I downloaded? What I can do is just simply pressing uh, Control and I and it will open up a filter box down here which allows me to filter for various different files and folders. So I can just filter for my ISO files here and I can see my ISO files. And if I want to mount one of those ISO files, for example, I can open up the internal terminal of Dolphin by pressing F4 and it will bring up my internal terminal and I can just sort of mount uh, this file to my uh, mount directory and now I have it mounted and it will appear here in my left. The cool thing about this terminal is if I want to work in a mixed environment with terminal and my file manager, my graphical file manager, I can click here and you can see it directly went also in the terminal to this folder and um, yeah, I can now work in this folder if I'd like to work in this folder. So this is uh, possible as well as you can see here. Then the next thing is tip number uh, seven, compare files and folders. So I have a different um, folder open here with uh, files that seems to be seem to be the same. What I can do is compare those files. There's no shortcut available for this, but I can have to go to control and then go to tools and then compare files. And this will open up the compare tool, which allows me to see the differences between those files. In this case, these are two text files or bash scripts that uh, show me the yeah differences of those files. But this not only works for simple text files, but also folders. So like I have a folder structure here and I can also do this, compare files, show me an error message because not everything can be parsed. 
but it will pass those files that it can pass and s I can see then the difference here for example I have the Netrunner rolling list in one folder which is my uh, ROC64 folder but I don't have it in the other folder and so I can see files that are not there and I can also see differences in the files just like for example here I can see that uh, here it's written Odroid, here it's written ROC64, so you can see there is a difference. So I can have the option to compare uh, various different files, but also folders with the compare tool. If you have this grayed out under contr um, control, um, then you have to install the compare tool, which is written with a K at the beginning. Then uh, let's go to tip number eight, additional file information. Let's go to another folder here let me let me close this and uh, all the obstacles here and what i want to do is just simply for example go to my documents folder you can close this here and i want to have additional information about my uh, files here of course i can go to a different view and then it can show me my size and modified date and i have the option to just simply uh, right click here and add some new stuff that I want to show but what if I am in uh, the icon view and want to change the information displayed here I can go to control additional information and can say okay I want to have size as well and it will just simply list the size of those files and folders underneath I can have the option to view some special additional information for documents the title for example if I'd like to the word count, the line count, for images I have the option to say the date photographed, um, uh, for audio I can see artist, genre, album and other stuff as well like for example the path which is also very interesting. So I have uh, various different information that I can also add here under additional information. This is tip number uh, eight. Tip number nine is a hash sum. So let's go back to my downloads folder, search for ISO files and ISO files usually if I download them I'll check if they are really completely downloaded and legit by going uh, to right click properties or I can hit alt and return as you can see here go to checksums and then I will just paste my checksum in here. Uh, let me find my checksum. Here's my checksum. I paste the checksum in here and it's verifying the checksum right now and I can just simply click on uh, because I know it is in SHA265 and as you can see here it checked it it takes a bit of while while but it uh, checked out green so it is a valid file for me it's also handy if I create my own ISO files or want to send someone else the checksum of a file that I created I can cal calculate the checksum here and share it with friends and family this is tip number nine and tip number ten is network shares of course you can go in here and then just simply SMB or SFTP and connect to your uh, shares, network shares, but you can also go to the remote section and click on network share and add permanent network shares just like I did for my Xperia 10 Plus running Selfish OS which has an SFTP share. Uh, to add new shares I click on add new network folder and have the option to either add in WebDub, FTP, SMB, Microsoft Windows um, share or a uh, secure uh, SSH share or I can just simply edit my last uh, entry just like my Safish OS Xperia 10 Plus and I can edit this information here I can choose the protocol that I want to use either FF SFTP or FISH and then I can uh, say uh, connect save and connect and I have the option to simply connect to the device and as you can see here now I have the option to just simply I'm on the device so I have this link here so I don't have to just to type in the whole um, and or the, the IP address of uh, my device all the time I have it in network shares these are my 10 tips and tricks for Dolphin the file manager of KDE Plasma if you have more tips and tricks just write them in the comments otherwise give it a thumbs up like share and subscribe uh, this is everything for this little video thanks for watching until the next time